In this video, we'll dive deep into the world of prompt engineering, uncovering the techniques that will transform you from a coder to a prompt engineer. Let's learn how to communicate effectively with AI and unlock its true potential. We'll begin by understanding what are the key prompt engineering techniques and how to choose the most suitable prompt engineering technique for your specific needs. From quick reference guides to the nuances of when to use RAG or React, we've got you covered. Let's start with delving into the details of these prompting techniques. Zero-shot prompting. This approach presents a single prompt and relies on the LLM's internal knowledge. While straightforward, results can be unpredictable. Example of zero-shot prompt is, write a poem about a robot falling in love with a human. As a response to this prompt, the LLM might generate a creative poem, but the accuracy of the depicted emotions or the nature of the relationship could be inconsistent. Prompt chaining. This prompting technique leverages the LLM's previous outputs by incorporating them into subsequent prompts. This fosters a continuous, iterative dialogue. A good example to showcase the power of prompt chaining is sentiment analysis use case. You want to analyze customer reviews for a new fitness tracker to understand user sentiment and identify areas for improvement. Starting point for this use case is Dataset, which contains reviews from customers who purchased the new fitness tracker. With this technique, you first prompt the LLM to identify keywords and phrases expressing positive or negative sentiment towards the product. Once the LLM responds back with positive and negative keywords, you start with analyzing the negative keywords. Say battery life was one of the negative keyword. You take that as an input and delve deeper with second prompt. Focus on reviews mentioning battery life. Analyze the sentiment and categorize the specific concerns raised by customers. The LLM then responds back saying many reviews with battery life express negative sentiment and the users complain about the battery lasting less than a day and requiring daily charging. You then follow up with third prompt for actionable insights. Based on the analysis of battery life reviews, suggest potential improvements for future versions of the fitness tracker. To this final prompt, the LLM responds, Consider implementing a larger battery capacity or a low power mode to extend battery life. Offer wireless charging options for added convenience. Prompt chaining is particularly useful when building LLM-powered conversational assistance and improving the personalization and user experience of your applications. Chain of Thoughts prompting, also called as COT prompting, in this prompt technique, we deconstruct complex tasks into a series of smaller sequential prompts. It's basically feeding the LLM a step-by-step -step algorithm. For example, the user prompt says, summarize a scientific research paper. With COT prompting technique, we would generate three prompts for this. Prompt one would be, this research paper investigates the effectiveness of a new drug for treating cancer. Next prompt is, identify the methodology used in the experiment. And third prompt, Summarize the key findings of the research. Tree of Thoughts prompting technique presents the LLM with a branching structure, allowing it to explore multiple options and converge on the most suitable path based on the prompt's constraints. Tree of Thoughts prompting is most effective when the problem has multiple potential solutions or approaches. You want to explore different paths or perspectives. The task requires reasoning and decision-making. You want to improve the comprehensiveness and creativity of the LLM's output. A good example is travel planning. Say the user prompts, plan a seven-day trip to Europe for a family of four, including two children aged eight and 10. The budget is $5,000. Consider interests like history, food, and outdoor activities. With Tree of Thoughts technique, your application will send three different prompts to the LLM. Option one, focus on historical cities like Rome and Paris. Explore family-friendly activities and accommodations. Option two, prioritize outdoor activities and nature with destinations like Switzerland or the Alps. Option three, combine city exploration and nature with destinations like Barcelona or Munich. By exploring different options, the LLM can generate diverse travel plans considering various factors and preferences. LLM then presents them as separate potential solutions for the user to consider. The goal is to provide a comprehensive overview of different approaches to the problem. In summary, Tree of Thoughts prompting is valuable when you want the LLM to think critically and consider multiple possibilities before arriving at a solution. 
It's particularly useful for complex problems that require a systematic approach. One of the more advanced techniques out there for prompt engineering is self-consistency. Self-consistency is an approach that simply asks a model the same prompt multiple times and takes the majority result as the final answer. It is a follow-up to CoT prompting and is more powerful when used in conjunction with it. Self-consistency has been shown to improve results on arithmetic, common sense, and symbolic reasoning tasks. With direct stimulus prompting technique, the application injects domain-specific knowledge or illustrative examples to nudge the LLM in a specific direction, leveraging available datasets or task requirements. This approach enables an LLM to self-evaluate the progress through intermediate thoughts made towards solving a problem through a deliberate reasoning process. The LM's ability to generate and evaluate thoughts is then combined with search algorithms. Next is the most popular technique, Retrieval Augmented Generation, also referred as RAG. RAG combines the generation capabilities of language models with the retrieval of relevant information from external sources. It retrieves information from your data sources first, then adds it to your question as context, and asks the LLM to answer based on the enriched prompt. RAG enables models to access the latest information from databases or documents, which is particularly useful for topics that require current knowledge or for domains where information frequently changes. By relying on retrieved documents to inform responses, RAG reduces the likelihood of the model generating incorrect or fabricated information, known as hallucinations. This leads to more reliable outputs. One of the most important questions in prompt engineering is when to use RAG. RAG is a de facto when you want to leverage external knowledge sources to enhance factual accuracy. RAG can help with structured and relevant information from databases or knowledge graphs to supplement the LLM's internal knowledge. You're dealing with factual tasks like question answering, where access to external knowledge is crucial, RAG is your best option. To conclude RAG, LLMs struggle with tasks requiring real-world context or specific data points. RAG injects this information for more grounded responses. React prompting technique is inspired by the synergies between acting and reasoning, which allow humans to learn new tasks and make decisions or reasoning. This dual approach enables dynamic reasoning, allowing the system to formulate, modify, and refine action plans. Simultaneously, it facilitates interaction with external sources, like Wikipedia, thus integrating new information into the reasoning process. React allows models to not only generate responses, but also take actions based on those responses. This enables more dynamic and interactive conversations, making the model's behavior more adaptive and contextually relevant. Next is when to use React prompting. You select React when you need the LLM to not only generate text, but also perform actions and reason through complex tasks. An example is when you're building an AI agent, which recommends a restaurant to the user. React allows the LLM to iteratively refine its response based on its reasoning and interaction with the simulated environment. React provides explainability to its reasoning process and shows the user how it arrived at the answer. Prompt engineering is a powerful tool, but choosing the right technique can significantly impact your results. Here is the quick guide. When you are looking purely from use case perspective, for baseline inquiries, consider zero-shot prompting. To conquer intricate multi-step tasks, deploy CoT prompting or prompt chaining. When guiding the LLM with domain-specific knowledge, leverage directional stimulus prompting. To enable the LLM to explore possibilities, utilize tree of thoughts prompting. For maintaining focus, integrate self-consistency prompting. Here is another prompt technique evaluation methodology based on the task, data, and model. The complexity of your task is a crucial starting point for simple requests like translate English to Spanish. Zero-shot prompting might suffice. If you're dealing with complex problems like writing a poem analysis, consider chain of thought or tree of thought prompting to break down the task into smaller steps. The capabilities of your language model are essential. Advanced models, Models with strong reasoning abilities can handle tree of thought prompting effectively. Basic models for simpler tasks, zero shot or few shot prompting might be sufficient. The availability of relevant data can influence your choice. Specific datasets. If you have a dataset tailored to your task, directional stimulus prompting can guide the model towards the desired output. 
limited data. For tasks with scarce data, focus on general prompt engineering techniques. Now that we've explored a range of prompt engineering techniques to effectively communicate with our AI models, let's delve into some best practices for optimizing both the input and output stages of this process. Understanding how to pre-process prompts and post-process outputs can significantly enhance the overall performance and reliability of your AI applications. Pre-processing is like getting your ingredients ready before you start cooking. It ensures the LLM has the best possible foundation to generate accurate and relevant responses. The first step is cleaning. Think of it as decluttering your prompt. We remove unnecessary elements like extra spaces, strange symbols, or unwanted formatting. It's like tidying up a messy workspace to create a clear and focused environment for the LLM. Next comes template application. Imagine having a recipe card that outlines the basic structure of a dish. That's what a template does for a prompt. We apply predefined structures to the user's input, ensuring consistency and helping the LLM understand the prompt's intent more easily. To give the LLM more context, we inject relevant background information or examples. It's like providing additional clues to help the LLM solve the puzzle. By giving the model more context, we can expect more accurate and informative responses. LMs have limitations when it comes to input length. That's where length management comes in. We adjust the prompt to fit within the model's limits. This might involve shortening long prompts or breaking them into smaller pieces. It's like summarizing a long story to fit into a short message. Finally, we handle special tokens. These are specific markers or symbols that the LLM understands. It's like using secret code to communicate with the model. By adding these tokens, we can provide extra instructions or guide the LLM's response in specific ways. By cleaning, structuring, providing context, managing length, and using special tokens, we're setting the stage for the LLM to deliver impressive results by using the prompt engineering techniques which we have talked about at length in this video. The last topic which we cover in this video is post-processing. Once the LLM has generated its response, it's not always ready for prime time. This is where post-processing comes in. The first step is filtering. We're essentially sifting through the output to remove anything unwanted. This includes profanity, sensitive information, or any content that doesn't align with our desired output. It's like a digital bouncer keeping out the undesirables. Next up is formatting. This is where we give the output a polished look. We're talking about adding line breaks for readability, applying consistent styling for a professional appearance, and ensuring the overall structure is clear and easy to follow. It's like transforming plain text into a beautifully formatted document. Sometimes the LLM can be a bit verbose. That's where truncation comes in. We cut off the response at a specific length or at a logical breakpoint. It's like editing a novel. We're keeping the essential parts and cutting out the fluff. To ensure the output is coherent and grammatically correct, we need to complete it. This means making sure sentences are finished with proper punctuation and that thoughts are brought to a logical conclusion. It's like adding the final touches to a painting. Finally, we want to avoid repetition. Deduplication removes any phrases or sentences that appear multiple times. It's like cleaning up a messy room. We're getting rid of duplicates and creating a tidy space. So there you have it. Prompt engineering is your secret weapon to mastering LLMs. By understanding these techniques, you've taken the first step to building incredible applications. Experiment, iterate, and most importantly, have fun. The possibilities are endless. Now it's your turn to launch your LLM journey. Let's build something amazing. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. Want to learn more about data and AI? Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.